So glad you came back. Hey, check this out. So I was going through the salon and I ran into a, a phone message book, right? Just a basic phone message book, right? But this is special to me. It's special because my girls, I mean, they're all outspoken. They'll tell you what's on their mind. Now, they are aware that you can say what you want to say, but there's consequences for what you say. Okay, so I needed to find a way to channel that, right? Give them another uh, path to let you know what they're thinking. So what I did is because my sleeping habits were all jacked up, I mean, they're still kind of jacked up if you think about it, but anyway, I found myself awake a lot of times around f between four and six o'clock in the morning you know, as they're getting ready to go to school. So what I did was I told them, hey, take this, right? And this is one of the books, you know, so it brings back some memories. Take this, put your breakfast order in for your breakfast sandwich, right? So whatever you write and the way you write it would dictate what I cook for you. So if you don't get what you want, it's because you didn't write it properly. So you need to focus, right? So you can look at some of these, a couple of these pages, you know, they got, you know, the carbon copies, I don't know if you can see it, their little handwriting from when they were in elementary and stuff. And then I broke this out because I was going to do this video and they saw it and they start naturally putting in their orders, right? So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to step back in time a bit and I'm going to cook this as if they're still in school, they're gonna come by, they're gonna pick it up, because they put the order in, so they're gonna pick it up and take it with them, whatever, you know. Um, but it's all good. I don't mind. It just shows that they retained what I taught them years ago, years and years ago, which is good. I hope you enjoy this. Stay tuned, sit back, and just watch. Hey, this is Shaw Sharaw. That's the best elevated music I ever heard. All right, so basically all we're gonna need, we need our bacon, right, we got our bacon. We have our eggs, need eggs, gotta have that. Then we got our Canadian bacon, right? We have our sausage, have our cheese, and we have our English muffins. So let's start by toasting the muffins. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna cut the English muffins in half, right? And I'm gonna butter them. We're gonna put them on a broiler for a couple minutes. And because I'm making 12 of these, you know, we're gonna it's gonna be have to be done in batches, right? So just bear with me. And yeah, you can, as you might guess already, some of the tops and bottoms may be mismatched. That's how I'm done. But it will work out. You know me, it will randomly work out. Okay. Now let's butter these. I'm gonna butter on the nooks and crannies. You don't need a lot, but you want some presence of butter on it, okay? Now we're gonna toast these in the oven for a couple minutes on broil. First batch has been toasted. 
Now start making the other pieces. Alright, so now we're gonna start on the eggs, right? So for the eggs, got some spray here. Spray the pan down. And this is when you're gonna use your salt and pepper if you're gonna use it. I recommend you use it. And we have our ring molds, right? So you wanna spray those as well. Spray the ring molds. As you can see, we're gonna be cracking two eggs at a time, right? So we're gonna do the eggs first, and then we're gonna move over to the Canadian bacon, and then we're gonna do the sausage, okay? So let's start working these eggs. Now these are not going to be over easy, these are going to be done hard. My girls, well my middle girl, she likes it a little runny, but for the most part, the peanut gallery, they like it to be cooked hard, so that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to just pop the yolk, that one's already popped, give it a little bit of salt, give it a pepper. And we're gonna let this cook a couple minutes. And then we're gonna remove the ring mold and we're gonna flip them over. We just need the eggs to set before we remove the ring molds. You know, the egg whites, we need to have to set. So this is just about ready, see that? Give it a little assist. See, that's good. Try this other guy good as well. We're going to just cook for a bit and then we're going to flip it over. Okay, let's get this guy flipped. Here we go. This guy. Here we go. Give that a couple minutes and then we'll take it off and do the next set. Okay, let's move this around a bit if we can. Okay, let's pull these off and do another one. Now we're going to be putting these on the bottoms of the toasted English muffins. Okay, so remember the first batch has six. Alright, prep for the next ones. Careful not to get any eggshells in. Pop the yolk. Little salt, pepper, you know the salt and pepper that's the taste right so it's up to you. Let this go for a couple minutes and then we're just going to repeat the process. Going to flip it, take it off and do another set. So I remove the ring molds and you can see these guys are set. We're going to flip them and keep it moving. Right, they've been flipped. Give them a couple minutes. We're going to add those to the first batch of toasted English muffins. All right, we're going to add these. This guy. Now let's clean this pan up. Let me do another Now set. I'm not going to show you, you know, me doing all 12 eggs. 
I'm pretty sure by now you get the point. Right? So this is the last one I'm going to show you, the last set. to taste and keep it moving all right this should be set now look at that nice nice see that's why I love ring modes right level and then the egg flip flip there we go Another couple minutes, we take these off. Okay, we're gonna pull these now. And then we're gonna start working on the Canadian bacon. Now for the Canadian bacon, it's real quick. Cause all you're doing is heating it through, right? So I'm just gonna take some slices here, put it on. And you just want to heat them through for about 40 seconds to a minute and then flip them over another 40 seconds to a minute and you're good. And start flipping these over. Let's start assembling this first batch. So my middle child, she just likes her eggs with cheese. Um, regular bacon, not Canadian bacon. Right, but all these right here are gonna get cheese and eggs. And also my middle child, she likes her eggs to be slightly runny, which I think is pretty cool. But she doesn't want the Canadian bacon. What she says is she wants regular bacon. So we'll give her some regular bacon, not a problem. She doesn't want sausage though, right? So let's get this bacon. But she also likes to have her bacon on the side too. So we'll see if we'll, we'll be able to get that for her. Another one here. And now these guys are going to get Canadian bacon. And just like that, we just start topping them. With the toasted tops. I didn't go too heavy on the bacon because I know she likes some bacon on the side, so um, I'm accounting for that, so I'm going to save her some on the side, so put hers right here, 
to row three. Now let's get back to the rest of it. So we got our sausage on. This is the last step. And then we'll have full completion of building this, this sandwich. But we need this sausage. So we're going to cook this for a couple minutes on each side. And then we're going to plate them up. All right, let's flip these over. Another couple minutes on this side, and we'll be good to go. Let's pull these off and finish building the sandwich. All right, here we go. Sausage on that one. That one. Oh, yeah. And load them up. Gonna top them off now. Go. There we go. Now let's package them up. So now it's time to wrap them. So what I like to do is right in the middle of your jelly paper, right? Line it up, give it a fold. Nice fold, give it another fold. Fold it all the way down, right? And then you just tuck it under. Nice little bundle. See that? Nice little bundle. Let me do okay. another. Take the sandwich. Middle. And bring up the sides. Give it a little fold. Another fold. And you tuck it. Right on See that? Do another one. Bring up the sides. One fold. Another fold. Tuck it under. Good to go. Okay? That's one of my girls done. Okay, put it in the middle. Get the sides. Fold. Another fold. Tuck it in the middle. There we go. And I used to do this for the girls. When they went to school, if they put their order in. I got some random ones here I'm gonna do. You know, for Mama Straw, you don't need to see that. Uh, but when I get done, I'll show you what else I almost I forgot. Bacon. Your bacon. So they always like bacon on the side, so I have to put a little baggie of bacon in the bags. Can't forget that. They'll never let me live it down. So now, in true, we like this. Uh, recipe, if you will, the sandwich build, or even the sentiment behind it. Give me a like, thumbs up. Hit me up on Instagram so you see what I got coming up next, right? If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe, right? Because I know I got something. Maybe I can show you something. Hey, maybe you can comment and teach me something, right? But what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you how to finish it off. So now my middle child, this is, well, this is how I do it. 
Um, when they were growing up, this is how I bagged it. Right? And they got their sandwich in the bag. Paper towel in the bag. Now, normally we have chips, but I don't have chips right now for this one. But I got the sandwiches and the paper towels. And the reason I'm bagging it, and I'm actually bagging it, is because she left her memo, she left her order, and she's going to be coming to pick it up. So I need to have this. She had a little bit of nostalgia from when they were younger. That being said, this is Straw Straw. I'm going to pack up the rest of these. I'm out.